Those of you that follow me on Instagram probably have noticed that more often than not I wear my hair down and there is a very good reason for that. Quite simply, I am crap at doing hair. So I've taken it upon myself to scour Pinterest for easy hairstyles. Now the issue that I've had in the past with these tutorials is they're usually done on either straight or obviously curled hair. So I think it's gonna be interesting seeing what they actually look like on natural, messy, curly, wavy hair. With that, let's get started. Now, my fellow mums out there will know the struggle of not having any time to do your hair when you've got kids running around but I have never been able to find the so-called perfect mum bun. All these messy bun tutorials I try, they look so easy and effortless, but they are just impossible to do. But I think I have found one that seems to work. So first of all, I'm going to put my hair up into two high pigtail buns where this is messy, it doesn't need to be a, doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> so I always find when I wear my hair up, after a couple of hours, I always get a headache. I don't know if anyone else is the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loop it round the once and then not pull it all the way through. So it's gonna be quite floppy and quite uh, loose. But, you know, if it stops me getting a headache, it'll be worth it. And then the other side. Just also, Gonna pull down my face framing pieces. Seeing as I made the effort to cut them. If you haven't seen it, I'll post the video of how I cut my hair in the description box. So now, I'm keeping my thumb through the loop and I am just gonna gently pull it through. Hold it in place, then with my trusty bobby pins, I'm gonna put one on either side just to keep it where it's supposed to be. And then I've got these sort of little tendrils, I'm just gonna sort of tuck them up inside. If you feel like being neat, you can always pin them. And then I like to pull down these sort of little baby hairs. It just sort of softens the overall look. So, that is the messy mum bun. Now you saw it was fairly quick to do. Didn't take that much effort on my part. I'm gonna be honest here and say I haven't got my contact lenses in, so everything's a blur. So I was pretty much doing it blind, which is always a bonus. If I turn to the back, just to show it off. When I did this the other day, I did notice the, the parting was really obvious. So it doesn't feel like it's there. So I'm gonna assume it's not. But looking back, it may well be. So that seems fairly successful. So what I'm going to do with all these hairstyles I'm going to try is I'm going to rate them on easiness out of five. So I'm going to give that a four. It was quite fiddly to do, but also at the same time, it wasn't, if that makes sense. So it wasn't just a quick bosh, you're up. You did have to sort of manipulate and style it quite a bit. But it feels like it's going to stay put, which I've always found my hair always seems to fall down after a couple of hours. 
I was really excited about this next one because I've always thought that this was a beautiful hairstyle. It's the French twist. So again, I'm going to make sure my face framing pieces are down. And what I'm going to do, I will turn my back in a sec, don't worry. You'll be able to see what's going on. So, I'm just going to, again, I'm going to keep it quite loose. Do one more just to be safe because my hair is so heavy it just always falls out and I'm going to loosen it ever so slightly because the other time I tried this I did it too loose and it all just sort of fell out and didn't hold its shape making sure it doesn't get tangled on my ring and then so you made a little gap and then gently pull the ponytail through. Make sure all the pieces are through. And then tighten it. I actually don't think it looks too bad like this. Gives a bit of a 90s vibe. So then next, what I'm going to do is just give it a little twist just because where I've got layers, I did find the other day it kept falling out. So, I know you're not supposed to use elastics, but you know, hey ho. And you separate the ends, and then just roll the hair back on itself. And this is gonna give the French twist feel. And then just tuck in the ends and again trusty bobby pins pin everything into place a little hack for the bobby pins I was amazed when I found this put it in that way round so the bumpy bit is underneath that's how it grips in your hair Again, making sure it's all tucked in and neat. Neatish. <laughs> and then what I what I like to do is get one of these little sparkly sort of barrettes and then up alongside where the twist is, making sure it's not so far in your hair that it won't be able to fasten, which I have had before. Yeah. Now, as I said, I have always loved this hairstyle and I've always been really annoyed that my hair just doesn't seem to stay in its position when I've tried this in the past. So as I said, I was really excited when I saw this hairstyle on Pinterest because I've always loved the French twist. I think it looks so elegant. I went to a wedding a few years ago and I did attempt this, but rather than do the whole tie it to the side, roll it back, I just did the rolling and as a result it was really heavy and it just kept falling down and I was just starting to get really stressed. So I'm really chuffed with how this one looks. I'm also going to give this look a 4 out of 5. It's again quite fiddly, but when I tried this the other day it did stay put all day. Now, with weddings and things starting to happen again, I thought I would look for a slightly more polished, formal looking updo. Disclaimer, because you know I love my disclaimers. I have not actually managed to successfully do this look yet, so be warned. I'll say again, I can't see 
what I'm doing because I haven't got my lenses in. So I'm really sorry if you can't actually see what's going on. So she sort of twisted it all around in a sort of ballerina bun sort of a look. Make sure it's all tucked in. Then she tied it twice, pulled it out, and made a little dent in it, and then tucked it in. <laughs> and again, what be what I think would just sort of finish off the look a little bit. There's another another little barrette. Now, like I said, I was aiming for a slightly more polished look. So what you could do is if you get these face framing bits like me either sort of pin them back and then just pull down around your hairline to soften the look. You could braid it, you could do one of the old sort of early noughties quiffs. I'm just gonna sort of shove it back. So then that is the slightly more formal polished updo. So I am gonna give this look a three out of five because it worked then but I have tried it a few times over the last few days sort of in preparation for this video and it hasn't always worked and it also doesn't feel particularly secure so it would be interesting if I try this hairstyle for a day just to see how long it lasts and whether it's going to end up flopping out after a few hours. And the final hairstyle I'm going to try today is the one that I like to do when I feel like being a little bit fancy but can't be bothered to make much effort. It's the boho braid. So the way that I've seen this done is you just section out the front of your hair, separate the section into three pieces and then just braid it backwards. So I have made the mistake in the past of sort of braiding down, straight down. All that does is when I then try and pull it back, it just sort of, I end up getting like a big bump and it just doesn't really, doesn't really look as elegant and pretty as I'm hoping for. So I'm just braiding it back as far as I can reach. I know that there is a way of doing it with your hands sort of up like this. I have not yet mastered it. As I said, I am not good at doing hair. So I'm just going to try and keep going backwards. And then I'm just going to tie this one off, just so when I do the other braid, it doesn't end up unraveling. And I mean, if you want to go for like a another 90s vibe, you could just leave them hanging down like that. That's how I used to wear my hair for school sometimes. So again, other side, taking the section from the front. Trying to make sure it's a similar size section. Obviously, nobody wants a wonky hairstyle. I should know, I've had many of them over the years. So, I'm now just going to repeat the process braiding back into the hair. Not quite a French braid, Dutch braid. 
because I'm only using the same three strands, I'm not taking from it, but similar sort of effect. I don't know if it's where I'm left handed but it's always so much quicker doing it this side. Braid, braid, braid. Making sure again it doesn't uh, doesn't end up with a big bump. And then what I'm going to do is turn my back, pull it across, and then just clip. Let's go down to keep it in place. And then the same with the other side. Another hair tie. And then with this side, you tuck it under the first braid. So I'm going to give this style a 3.5 out of 5. It looks very pretty. I always feel really pretty when I wear my hair braided like this. feel a bit princessy, a little bit boho. However, it's quite fiddly as you saw and it doesn't always last the day. I may need to sort of perfect on my pinning technique but I have had it a few times where I've had to sort of readjust throughout the day. So there we go, I have done the legwork for you. I have found four Pinterest hairstyles that a normal person with no hairdressing experience can do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if there's any other hairstyles you think I should try and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you soon, bye bye! is more often than not, I keep saying more often than not. If you haven't seen that, I'll post the video of how I cut my hair in the comment, in the description, oh mate. I, I say, I say again, I say, I say, I say. <laughs>